Hi there, all you happy saps. It's your Scully boy here, Kevin the Skull Anderson. And right now, I'm giving you an opportunity to live the God life. Not the good life, but the God life. The life that God wants you to live. All right, you ready? Okay. Cue that beautiful intro, motherfucker. Right, so we're right like dogs. Okay. So, as you can see here, I've got myself a bag of broccoli currently thawing out. It's almost thawed out, by the way. You want to know how I got it to thaw it out? Well, it's real simple. I fill a pot up with steaming, scorching hot water. But before that, I put the bag of broccoli in there. And what I did was, as I was filling the scorching hot water up in the pot, I made sure to shower the bag as well. Of course, it had to be closed, so I kept it closed, because that's how it came in. So, I left it on one side for about 10 minutes. Then, I turned it right around, poured all the water out of the pan, or the pot, or whatever, and I flipped it on the other side, and I'm not talking about the, pan, the pot here, because that would be stupid. That would be selectively retarded. And, uh... Basically, I filled the pot back up with scorching hot water with the bag sitting on the other side while still in the pot, apparently. So, same thing here, 10 minutes, covered up with a lid, and look what we have here. Y'all, oh, man, we got lots of sh going on here. Ain't nobody gonna give a if it's right or not, shh, man. But as you can see, the more water it has, the better. Because that's how you know you're doing it the godlike way, right? Because the hell with everything else. And hell is not for heroes, it's for villains and antichrists and whatever. But you pretty much get it, now don't you? Now, considering that it's all the way thawed out, it just makes sense to conclude that there's more than one way to cook this. You can store it, you can put it on the stove, you can microwave it. I think it's pretty simple, don't you? Yeah. And on that note, let's get to the bones of the point, yeah. Hey buddy, it's that old disrespectful New Yorker here with a special pack of Zipa. Cause that's all you need to live a nice clean life is a bunch of Zipa. Um sir, can you do me a favor? Yeah, what would that be? Quit sucking the donkey's dick for die! So of course you have to you have to let all that water seep out of the bag after you open it. But you gotta leave it open just slightly to let the water out so none of the broccoli will get out, right? So it just makes sense. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense. So much sense. And then, of course, you put the broccoli, sans water, in a bowl. And then, of course, you open it up. I mean, the microwave, that's what I mean. You open the microwave up. Close that king door. Put it on for a minute. And, and I'm not even an expert of anything. 
in any field or subject or anything. But it doesn't take an expert to teach you guys the sh that you need to know, right? I mean, I mean, it's just common sense here, isn't it? It's just common sense. It's common sense. But anyway, all kidding aside, let's just get straight to the point here. I'm gonna tell you how it is. I'm gonna show you how it is. And let me tell you right now, you're not even gonna regret it. Not a bit, you're not gonna regret it. Cause if you do regret it, you're gonna get the biggest freaking kick out of your entire life. I'm just kidding, just ignore that last. Oh no, the freaking log please don't. So anyway, you open back up this thing after you cooked it for a minute. And I mean, you open up the microwave after you cook the broccoli for a minute. Take a nice big taste test. FMY News 2. He has his own segment at noontime during the noon news at around 1220-ish called Mr. Food's Test Chicken. You should go ahead and check it out. That's just complete sarcasm, right? Oh, and here's another funny thing that I discovered. There's a little bit of sweetness Al Jolson, but you know what's funny? Take this into consideration. Just, just really do, really dope. Take this into consideration. You know, there's a dishwasher that's readily available for every home because it's modern life. Cause you can't go wrong with modern life. Actually, you can, but you know what I'm saying, so it's all good. Point I'm trying to make here is simple. If you're gonna make a dishwasher full of dishes, everything you do, you gotta make sure that you put some dishes in it. Because that's what my friends tell me to do when they're away, and I'm keeping house for them. And I mean, it's, it's actually quite simple, isn't it? It's so simple, you could even say that it's easy as taking a big fat all over Grand Canyon Square. Nah, I'm just kidding, but, but just, just, just forget what I said. It's not going to make sense anyway, because most people are going to take their wrong way, and shit's going to happen, and everything's going to hit the fan, and nobody knows what's going to go wrong. Because reasons! And you all know what these reasons are, now don't you? Anyway, it's your boy Scully here, reminding you straight up. There's only one way to live the good life, and that's by living the God life. I'll talk to you. Wow.
apply shaving cream on yourself and stuff like that. And then you shave yourself. And the next thing you know, if you see that your razor is getting clogged up with hair, all you have to do is something that's very really simple actually. It's very simple. Yo, how you guys doing? You doing all right? You doing all right? Seriously? You doing okay? We cool? Cool. All right. So today we're going to just do some stuff. We're going to get some stuff done. That's right. Another episode is coming your way, and it's coming in the way that you won't expect. Oh, did I say coming? I meant to say arriving. Coming is, is obviously a hentai reference, but yeah, that just made things a hell of a lot awkward. Anyway, another episode of the God Life, or Living the God Life. Mm. Another episode of Living the God Life is coming at you right now, so don't blink! Ah! Ah! Oh, we're not even moving! So, we're gonna spend the day trying to figure out how to cook some whole kernel corn. Are you ready to learn how to cook in the microwave? I say, that's not bad. Yeah. I just don't know. But let's just get to it. We're just gonna pretend that this hasn't been opened and emptied yet. So what we got here, great value corn. At it's best. And they don't call it great value for nothing. So, we're just gonna pretend that this was never opened or empty to start with or drained for that. All right? So here's what you do. It's really simple. It's really simple. All you gotta do, basically, is take this thing, clamp it together with this, and just twist it like so until the whole damn thing comes apart or most of it anyway and then what you could do and, and I did this earlier today for, for, uh, for what was it supper? yeah supper but I did this earlier today for supper and needless to say all you gotta do is pretty simple Watch this. You gotta take this, gotta cover it, make sure all the juice gets out of the corn because you don't want that extra sugar. Because the juice alone is about maybe five to six grams of sugar, you know? And they say that there's, actually no, I take that back, it's more like, uh, more like four grams of sugar. You'll be cutting out half of your sugar intake in this cup, in this can, by simply pouring this out. Let's just pretend that the corn juice is dripping, right? 
but you do this until finally you're able to get all the juice out. You open this thing up, put this in here, like so. Let's just pretend that there's corn falling out of there. As you know, I already did this today. If I hadn't have done that yet, I would have showed you, but you know. Yep. That's just the way it is, now isn't it? Isn't that the way it is? Is it not what it is? Is it not exactly what it is? Isn't it what it is? I mean, I don't know. You tell me. Now let's just pretend that this whole freaking cup is full of full crone room sweet corn without salt. Just, just the, that's what the darn thing says. No salt added. Yeah. It's, it's so simple, isn't it? Is it simple enough for you? Right. So, th this is where the magic happens. We're gonna get the magic. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Right. So, all jokes aside, we're gonna pretend straight up, honest to God that I never cooked this in the microwave. But basically what you do is put it in the microwave, put it in there like so. Okay, let's just pretend I put the darn thing in there. You set it for one minute. About 55 more times and it's basically 10 taps times 6, right? You tap this about 60 times in a secondly fashion. You open that thing up and boom, there goes your corn, right? There goes your corn! And then of course you'd have to take a test taste to this freaking thing. You have to get a taste test and and let's just say this is this is the bowl that I cooked the Corn in, minus the broccoli, so you can see it right here. Like, all right, can, can you see it? Can you see it? It's my dad, it's my dad. Hi, Hi, Yeah, that's basically it, isn't it? Yeah. So basically, you taste test it. I mean, you get what I'm saying? I mean, it's so simple. It's, it's, it, how simple does it have to be? How simple? And I know that I, that I cooked that corn in the microwave about four hours ago, but I mean, that one, that's all good. Nobody ain't gonna give it about it anyway, right? Nobody ain't gonna give it, in no way. But let me just say right now, tell you, and I'm going to tell you straight up, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, if you want to live the God life, and, and this is just God speaking to me as I'm telling you this, but if you want to live the God life, you got to learn stuff like this, you got to learn how to microwave corn and broccoli and green beans and whatever I mean you get what I'm saying so simple I guess the same thing would apply to canned beef canned chicken cream of chicken and so on and so on and so on and so forth but of course that would really uptick the sodium quite a bit I mean so it's so shocking isn't it and and here's here's what gets me this is what really, really gets me. This is what gets me. I mean, you're not going to believe it, but it would be nice if you did. But check this. Check this. 
this is a can of corn, 10 milligrams of sodium per serving, three and a half servings. So by that point, 35 total grams, milligrams of sodium, which is barely one and a half percent, if even that, of your daily sodium intake. Meanwhile, it's got 7% potassium and 35% of your daily fiber. Or actually, it should say that it has 42% because it clearly says that there's 3 grams of dietary fiber in here. And meanwhile, you got something like this. A regular can of Prima Mushroom. They say it's fat free, but I don't necessarily believe it. I mean, it says it's 98% fat free, but I just don't believe it. Guess how much sodium one serving of this has? 31%! Are you freaking kidding me? This is gonna be a joke! But, yeah. 31% of your daily sodium intake in just one serving times two and a half that equates to about 77 and a half percent of your daily sodium intake meanwhile it only has one gram of dietary fiber per serving which only equates to about 10 percent of your daily fiber intake when you ingest the whole darn can all kidding aside though I really couldn't care less so let's just get to it let's just say right now that I prefer corn any day of the week over Campbell's. Because Campbell's started promoting the LGBTQ and B community for that reason because they wanted to feature a lesbian couple. And that was last year. You know what I decided after I saw that commercial? You're not going to believe it. You know what I decided in that commercial? After watching it? That's it for me. No more Campbell's. It's too crap. It's too sh It doesn't work! Campbell's doesn't work! But anyway, I'm just going to leave it at that. So until next time, in order to live the good life, you got to allow yourself to live the God life. Before I begin this video, I'm just going to go ahead and weigh myself, right? How's about that, huh? Let's weigh myself. Chill, man. Let's weigh myself. <laughs> yeah. With my clothes on, I weigh about 147 pounds. Without my clothes, I'd weigh around 144 and a half. Actually, now that I think about it, I've gained a pound since I woke up this morning because of the liquid intake, the can of soda, the cup of coffee, and so on. But that was just the most of it, so it doesn't surprise me. Anyway, let's get to the video! Whoa! Knock it out! What do we got here? Okay, so today, I'm going to show you how to wash dishes the God Life way. Meaning, how my mother did it, how my grandmother did it, how her mother did it. You know, like that, right? But, I mean, you can do it with a dishwasher too, but that would just be taking the easy way out, right? Let's just get to it. Let's get straight to it. Let's get to it! Yeah, let's get to it! 
We're going in with it to this! I'm just just go for now. Like okay. So let's let's take a look at what we got here. What we have here bunch of dirty dishes! And I'm gonna show you how to take care of dishes the godlike way. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. So I have here dirty dish. Guess what you think I can do? What do you think I can do, huh? Well, I'll show you. And I'll show you very plainly, very simply, so that even you can understand it. Okay. So, I just put a couple drops of this dish liquid, this dish water, right in here. And I just let this warm up a bit, because reasons, because we all know what these reasons are, and they don't need to be explained when do that. So, yeah. They don't need to be explained. And why the heck shouldn't they? So, I mean... <laughs> well, actually, why the heck should they? Like, you get... You catch my drill, so it's good. Yeah. I mean, not, not that it's gonna matter, but... Apparently, nobody cares enough to understand, so... Yeah, I want them. Let them figure it out on their own, man. Let them figure it out on their own. Okay, so water sun. Do this. Let me do that, huh? You like that? And you fill that up. A little bit of that soapy water up in each dish. Like so. And we gotta make sure. Just like we should always, that all these dishes have a little bit of soapy water in each of them. So yeah, I think that sums it up just fine, wouldn't you think? And then of course, you do this with just about every dish. But you try to put the most dish liquid in that one dish. That way you don't end up wasting dishwater and you don't have to end up spending an extra $15 to get another case of dish liquid. Then of course you just get this rag here, this, this clean little rag. Do some stuff with it, right? Do some shit. Do some shit, right? Just do some shit with it. Everything just comes together. All that shit comes together. Right? I mean, it's just that simple, isn't it? It's just that simple. <laughs> right? Millionaire has too many cliffhangers, but nobody cares, right? And I'm talking about the game show who wants to be a millionaire. You know, the one that used to be hosted by Regis Philbin, Meredith Vieira, Terry Crews, Cedric the Entertainer, and now we have Chris Harrison hosting it of the Bachelor and Bachelorette thing. Go figure, huh? Well, guess what? It all comes together somehow. Yes, it does, man. It all gonna come together somehow. And we don't know why or how, but at the end of the day, guess what? All that comes together in one lump sum. Right? Right. I mean, it's just that simple, isn't it? How simple does it have to be? I mean, how simple does it have to be? Good lord, man! Anyway, back to the story. Okay. So. I mean, you just, you just basically repeat the same process until every dish is completely clean of any stains, 
or dirtiness and whatever. I mean, just the, just the general stuff. It's so simple. It's easy, it's nonchalant. You know, I mean, I don't even want to make any money teaching you this stuff. I do this for free. I don't want to make any money off of this, and I don't need to. Because I'm my own man. It's something everybody should learn. I mean, it's just that simple, right? Really, it, it has to be that simple. Because there's no other way to say it. No other way to go about it. But yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just rambling here. And, and you know, maybe I shouldn't care more or less about it than I already do. But let's just leave it a blank slate and go with that, right? And, and you know... I'm just gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you, there's so much stuff going about. So much stuff that you just need to see for yourself, huh? Yup. <laughs> this guy just won $250,000 on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire just now. I heard it all and I didn't even have to see it. Go figure, right? Yeah, man. He's going for a half million now. Mm -hmm. and yeah, don't expect this guy to to answer this question correctly because he's not going to. Much less with complete certainty. You know? It all just comes together. It's all gonna come together. And let me let me tell you something. You know, I know I've said this before, but I don't do this for money. I don't teach you guys how to live like God for money. I don't teach you how to live a God life for money. I do it for free because I want to. Because it's something I need to do to teach you guys what's right with the world how to be self-sufficient like myself and how not to end up in a group home setting for the rest of your freaking lives with a bunch of village idiots who can't even tell left from right or up from down or don't even know what freaking two times two is you know I mean seriously though because that's what I had to go through for three and a half years, living with a bunch of people who couldn't function, except for maybe one or two people who were just as smart as I was, possibly even smarter. But that's beside the point now, isn't it? And yeah, I know I'm not perfect. I don't expect to be perfect. And why should I be perfect, right? <laughs> See, that's the thing. And of course, you got to treat the silverware a little bit differently, too. So... What you do is something that's pretty simple. A little bit of this. A little bit of this dish liquid, I should say. You know? Then you just do this number, and that number, and that number. Off to the side. Gotta spread this stuff a little bit evenly so that it can get washed properly and stuff. You know, it's, it's all good. Don't even worry about it. Because the way I look at it, it doesn't matter what we think. What we think don't mean... You know? Yeah, you guys understand. I don't even have to explain it to you. And let me tell you this. Let me, let me tell you straight up. Can't even lie to you about this. Because you all know this as much as I do. If you're going to live the God life, you got to learn how to take care of yourself. Because God gave that ability in you, just as he did in me. And everybody and everything else. It's, it's just so simple, isn't it? Yeah. That guy just walked away with a quarter million bucks. <laughs> I bet this is kids weekend he wants to be a millionaire. How much you want to guess, right? Let me tell you something. I don't care. 
about that show because it's scripted. You know? It's scripted. It's full of holes. Too many freaking cliffhangers in between, right? I mean, you get it, right? But that's beside the point. At the end of the day, guess what? I know what's best. We all know what's best. Learning how to live. Oh, by the way, when you're done with these dishes, it's common courtesy to just put them wherever they belong. But there are different places that one has to put them. And that's one of them, that's one of them, that's one of them. You know, things like that. Oh, not to know. But you understand, so it's all good. So, yeah. If that doesn't sum it up for you, I don't know what does. Oh, by the way, that's what I was trying to do. That over there, that's... Silverware stuff, that's the pots. Cups and bowls. Well, there, you know, places like that. Oh, make sure to dry your dishes before you put them away! You know, kind of like what I'm doing here. I mean, I mean this, is, this is just me giving out an example. I don't want to lead by example. I don't want to follow by example. But, just, but yeah, that's going to do it. So until next time, don't just live the good life. Live the good life by living the God life. Bye. Peeps, cheeps, and sheeps, you guys want to learn how to live the God life? You want to learn how to live the God life? Yeah, that's what I thought. Today I'm going to show you how to toast fish. In a toaster oven, no less. Are you ready for it, guys? Because I am, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So let me give you a quick run through on how this stuff's supposed to work. So as you can see, very plainly, in plain hindsight no less, I have a toaster oven that my friend John just recently bought for me. I think it cost about 50 bucks I would think, but I wouldn't know for sure so I can't say. But anyway, there is a pea fish cooking in there. It's a fish fillet. It's a piece of fish. It's a fillet. It's a fillet of fish. It's a fish fillet. You get it though. So I don't even have to tell you. They tell me that in order to cook a piece of fish in a toaster oven, you've got to cook it for about 24 to 25 minutes. When and while doing so, you got to flip it in between, meaning 12 or 12 and a half minutes, depending on which comes first. Of course, I wouldn't know that because I'm not God, am I? I'm just trying to live for God. I'm not trying to be God, I'm trying to live for God. There's a huge difference in between people, and I think you know why. <laughs> so let's take into consideration the fact that this piece of fish has to be cooked for about 25 minutes. Because I just started the darn thing about eight minutes ago as of right now. Started that thing eight minutes ago. So, yeah, you, you can see that thing cooking, can't you? You can see it cooking? You want a better view? Want a better view? There's your better view for you. Ha ha, yeah, there's yourself a better view. And, and not just that, but... I may be doing something really cool later on in this bit, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is until I have to. But yeah, bottom line is simple enough. This thing's cooking, 
and I gotta wait about, say, I would say another four or five minutes to turn that thing over, right? Look how far that's gonna get me, huh? Yeah. I'll check back with you guys in about four, and we'll see how that stuff goes, because let me tell you, this stuff is really useful, let me tell you. Four minutes later. You know something? You're going to need something really good to flip that darn thing. We call this one a spatula! Yeah! See that thing? It's not made out of metal like most of these other ones from these old timey old school days from generations back. This one, this one is very, very good and easy to use. And it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick and it's not stick guy! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this over. Also, warning. If you touch any of these iron bars inside that toaster oven with your hands, you will get burnt! I'm just, I'm serious. You're gonna get burned if you touch them with your hands. So, yeah, it's better to just, you know, let's just use an oven. Or better yet, in my case, let's not. I'm gonna go for mantle on this sucker. Yeah. But yeah, don't do what I'm doing. Don't do this with your bare hands, folks. Don't do what I'm doing. Leave this to me, because I'm a pro at what I do. Not at what you do. Okay, yeah, we got that done like a boss. Woo -woo! Also, spatula for the win. But yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Gonna get something done here. Also, look, look, look at that. Look at how crooked I got that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, look at how crooked I got that shit. Yo, look at how crooked I got that. 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 Oh! Oh! Yeah. Talk about going commando, I didn't even touch the stove. Or actually, in this case, it would be the iron bars of a toaster oven. But luckily for me, I didn't get burned. But don't do what I did, people. Seriously, just don't. It's not gonna work. You're gonna get a blister on your finger, or possibly you're gonna have your hand burnt to crap in some cases. If you expose yourself to the heated iron bar long enough, talk about a self burning at a stake or something. Yeah. But it's, it's not really going to matter at this point because this thing's got about. Minutes and 50 seconds left! Because technically I put the thing in for like 30 minutes when I'm really only supposed to put it for 25. But that's okay because that includes the preheating time. So it's justified, right? But yeah, there's more than one way to skin a cat, people. More than one way to skin a cat. And you heard it from yours truly, and you can take that to your bank and cash it. That's right. And while I'm at it, I should let you know about something, people. Because let me tell you something. I don't do this for me. I don't do this for anybody. I do this for God because he's out there to help all of us just like he is helping me. We're no different than he is. And he's no different than we are. We're all one and the same. We're all one with God. It's just all we got to do is realize it completely so that we can understand him better. And it's that simple, isn't it? So simple. 
Easy as a piece of cake. It's easier than a cake wall. Colder than a cucumber. Well, technically, that's a death reference, but nobody cares, so... Yeah, it's, it's not gonna mean anything. It's not gonna mean anything, is it? Is it gonna mean anything? Okay, so you can see that the thing is done, right? Well, I'll tell you what we do. It's something that's actually really, really simple and not difficult to understand. Totally not hard. Because nobody likes going the hard way on anything. Just basically, you know, just basics. But anyway, point is to be made here. Big, 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 big point to be made. Take this thing out. See that it's completely cooked. Everything is good. And of course, you get to dry that toaster oven. Because there's some sizzling stuff in there that you need to clean out. Cook in this mother. Oh man, this is just, this is just fun. Yeah, let me tell you, this is First, you got to do this. You wet your bar of soap. You rub your hands with it. I mean, you got to wash your hands. When you get done with all that, use that towel over there. I mean, how simple does that have to be, man? Good lord, it's first grade! But yeah. Wash your hands like so, right? Wash your hands with a with a couple of palms full of soap. You know, stuff like that. Something pretty simple to understand. It's not hard. It's not difficult to see. It's actually quite simple. You know, it's, it's, it's not hard. It's not hard, people. Then you just then you do this. You you take this towel, you take this towel and you dry it. You dry it like so, right? You dry it like so, just like I told you before, except I'm actually demonstrating it, right? And one, two, three, jazz hands. I mean, you get what I'm saying though, right? But anyway, it's all I'm gonna do for this episode of Living the God Life. And until next time, I am Kevin Lisskoll Anderson telling you to think about living the God life. 
Anytime you want to think about the good life. Christians in our world, about 2.2 billion of them, if I recall. Now, wouldn't you believe me if I told you that 9 out of every 10 Christians use religion as a crutch instead of a gateway to better understanding God? Well, turns out I'm one out of those 10 people who actually use religion as a gateway towards understanding God. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why do I say this? Well, I say this because it's obviously true because it's been shown to me by God Himself. Now, on a somewhat related topic, who wants to live the God life? I mean, seriously. I mean, I'm not an expert on anything or anywhere, you know, but even an old, regular, autistic jack-off like me knows how to live the God life. And I'm going to teach you how. Watch this. Look at me. I'm Jesus. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not Jesus. I'm just an old regular human being. So, in case you haven't noticed, there are two ways one can vacuum. One can vacuum Jesus' way with one's own hands, and they can use one's own hands as mini brooms. And then there's another way to do it that's much quicker. We call that the vacuum, right? Let me tell you about it. Take a look at this thing. This is an Oryx. Well, not really an Oryx, as in Tyrannosaurus Rex, but more an Oryx than anything else. But this is, compared to today's standards, this is actually considered prehistoric. Because you got these newer things like Dyson and stuff. But this thing does just as good a job, if not better, as any other vacuum out there. And I'm gonna show you how that is. You ready? You ready to have your mind blown? Well, guess what? You're gonna have your mind. There's a little bunch of sweetness in every song you sing. And baby, I'm not lying. Let my baby be my side. Thank <laughs> you. 
style because Jesus was a carpenter right yeah yeah so, I mean it's pretty simple just collect as much dust and stuff as you can when you finish don't forget to wash your hands because it's fucking important you know man always important to wash your hands at least three or four times a day I mean not frequently because that's just freaking obsessive compulsive and I know that because I'm obsessive compulsive myself. So there's no real need to explain anything else, right? <laughs> I mean, it figures. Now, I know you can't see it from your view, but when you do get to see it, you'll see my face on there. And I will make your face the greatest in Coradai. Or else you will die. Faces of Evil reference. Philip CDI. Right? <laughs> on YouTube? Have you seen them being parodied to death on there? They've become living, breathing memes. They were memes long before YouTube was ever considered to be a legitimate idea from three guys who were former employees from PayPal. Huh? I mean, yeah. Um, the landlady of the con of the condominium of a whole apartment building. I just basically I I made sure to restrain Abby for a bit. 
and of course I got a chance to talk to her. I was like, well, that's just Abby saying hi. So, uh, you have a blessed morning, and God bless. That's basically what I said. I can't really recall exactly everything that I said, but that's because I'm not God. You know? But anyway, vacuuming a floor hand style takes a lot longer, but believe me when I say that it's worth it. It is absolutely freaking worth it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, Fifth Harmony reference. You know Fifth Harmony, right, Nikki? Yeah. Well, I've heard them on the radio before. They're okay, but they're too mainstream for me, so I choose not to care about it. This is gonna be going off for a rough time. Yeah, he's <laughs> out in the yard. I mean, you know, man, just the basic shite. Nothing more, nothing less. You know. But yeah, you understand, right? Wow. Hey, Abby, I got a dog bone for you. You want a dog bone? You want a dog bone? Well, I'll give you a dog bone. Come on over to the kitchen, bro, and I'll give you a dog bone. Come on. Abby. Abby, come on. You want a dog bone? A milk bone? Milk bone? Milk bone? Eh, she's not hungry. Not really. I mean, she's wagging her tail like crazy, but she's not hungry. By the way, if you're gonna take some trash out, you gotta do it right. Which, I mean, hell, it's pretty simple, right? You just go to the garbage disposal, you put it in the dumpster, you come back inside. Straightforward, I mean... <laughs> I mean, anyone could just do this faster than you can say Jack Robinson. I mean, you know, I mean, good God. Ow. <laughs> Taking out the trash is actually simple. How the hell do you not know how to take out a trash bag? <laughs> but anyway, I've been Kevin the Skull Anderson. You people have been my loyal friends and fellow viewers and watchers. And until next time, Always remember that if you want to use religion as a gateway instead of a crutch, you got to learn how to live the God life. Thank you, God bless, and I'll see you next time. Later. To TV, two, Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'll show nothing, you loser. It's all classic. You, you miss Royal Flush. God knows I am. Hey. So, I'm your man, Kevin the Skull Anderson. 
And I have one question for you! Who wants to learn how to make pancakes like a boss? Huh? Because I'm going to teach you how to make a stack of pancakes. And I know it because I'm going to show you how I did it this morning, as a matter of fact. May the 20th, 2018. Yeah, I'm pretty good with dates. Well, not literally, just numerically, but you get the point. I mean, I wouldn't get a date in real life because I look like shit. The point is... I'm going to teach you, man, because that's what God put me on this world to do, to help you out. Yeah, man. It's what you want, so that's what you're going to get. Damn straight. So let's consider the facts. If you're going to make something like, I don't know, this. Read what's on the back of it. All you're gonna need one third of a cup of water, and as I'm about to show to you, one third of a cup of milk. You know the prison term, get the milk, right? Well, let's just say that applies here, huh? Yeah. And I don't mean literally either. Seriously. And then, of course, you got to pour the contents into here, like I'm about to do right now. And just, just seriously, look, check this out. Check this out. Just pour this whole damn thing right in here. In here. Your third of a cup of water, your third of a cup of milk. Just pour it in here. Oh, by the way, I should point out to you. Please be sure to replace the lid as tightly as you freaking can. Cause cause by the way, you're gonna need to to just do this tightly, very, very tightly, you know? Very, very, very tightly. To run a tight ship? I mean seriously though. And let me just say this, let me say this. You basically gotta shake this thing for about a minute and a half, that's 45 seconds the first time, and then you got to loosen any remaining mix, and then you got to shake again, and then you got to pour the batter onto a hot greased skillet, or a skillet, or whatever, you know? Pretty simple shit. You know? Got to heavily shake the shit. You know? Seriously. Hey! Also notice how I'm shaking this, huh? Yeah. You gotta shake the living hell out of it, man. Really though, you gotta. It's absolutely necessary. Hell, I think it's been 45 seconds now, but what the hell would I know, huh? And then we gotta turn this upside down and then loosen the freaking remaining mix. You know, it's pretty simple. Loosen it, loosen it, loosen it, loosen it. And then of course you gotta shake again. Right? For another 30 or so seconds. Or however the hell it long takes, you know? But what the hell would I know? I don't know much of anything anyhow, so fuck it. If you don't want to take my advice, you don't have to. But this is for your own good, because you gotta learn this shit in order to live. In order to be sustainable, to be self-sufficient. You gotta know this stuff, man. Seriously. You gotta know this stuff. You really do. Then you gotta loosen that shit. Loosen. Right? You gotta loosen. By the way, here's something else I think you should know. Huh? Seriously though. <laughs> Take a look at this shit. Okay, so you gotta you gotta turn your freaking stove on. You know, but before you do that, of course, put this shit in here. Huh? Gotta put all that in here, but not too much. Just make sure it gets the better half of the pan, or at least covers half of the pan. Then you gotta turn this thing to a notch above me, right? Like freaking so. Like so. Like so. Like so. Like so. 
apply so right pretty simple a kid can do this you know then you're gonna pull the contents into here right you pour that stuff man pour it usually I just try to get as much of the damn stuff as I can you know by the way before you put any of the pancake mix in there you gotta make sure that that's been on for at least five minutes that way you don't have to wait as long to get your pancakes cooked you know and and you know the key to this to stuff like this the key to shit like this is that when you're cooking pancakes you gotta make sure that they are golden brown on each side each side so when you're when you're cooking a pancake and the bottom is slightly how you say smoking you know there there's a little bit of white smoke coming out of it you'll know that it's time to flip it seriously I and mean, it really is no joke no joke by the way if you're gonna get a place of your own if you're gonna be self-sufficient you gotta know this Seriously, man. And I'm not Rachel Ray or or anyone of the Chew. I'm not. I'm not Martha Stewart, but I don't have to be because I'm just like every one of you. I'm just like you. I'm a human being. I learn through trial and error. My life is trial through error. You know? Seriously. Gotta know this shit if you want to live. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You understand, right? You understand? Get the general consensus here? <laughs> Pia! Pia! Nah! Mmm. Good luck! By the way, you're going to need a plate. By the way, you got to set that plate right beside here. And all that shiz, right? By the way, check out my buddy Larry Henson III, Shizzo Network. He's got some really cool stuff. Seriously, though. Yeah. But here's the thing. Now, look, let's get to the main part, right? Let's get to the main part. Right fucking here. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of funny now that I think about it. It really is. Because, I mean, of any regular jack-off could do this. You know, you know the term regular jack-off was most common and popularized in the show Metalocalypse, right? You know the term regular jack-off? Get used to that, because I'm going to be using that phrase a lot in future episodes of any of my shows. I just bear that shit Never mind that shit, here comes Mongo! Blazing Saddles, 1973. But, by the way, notice, notice the number 1973. If you exclude the middle numbers, you get the number 13. And that's my lucky number! I was born on that number! Fuck! <laughs> yeah, man. You gotta make sure that the damn shit is slightly smoking at the bottom. I'm pretty sure that it is at this point. Not that anyone gives a fuck, but 
I totally don't. Because I'm just showing you. Right? So now we flip this perfection. Fucking perfection. Sheer golden brown. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look, look. This is the look at that. Look at that. Golden brown. I'm, I'm going to show you. Man. I'm going to show you. Man. See that? Golden brown on one side. Or at least damn close to it. Kind of figures, doesn't it, huh? Yeah. I gotta check that shit. I gotta check that shit. So I don't want it to overcook. The last thing you fuck me. The damn bastard thing to overcook. And whatnot. Personally, I wouldn't care, because by the way, this is going to be a half hour episode of LTGL, right? I'm trying to find an acronym for it, you know? Notice my pauses in between certain words. That's that autism spectrum kicked in, right? But, I mean, God, it's fucking first grade. A fucking dog would know this. Damn. There you go. We got some more of that shit. Straight up the butt. Straight up the butt. Ah. Yeah. I mean, you get what I'm saying, though, right? You understand? You get it now? You understand? You see it? Because he's believing, man. It's never been more true than right fucking now. Right fucking now. Right fucking now. Somebody touch a spaghetti! By the way, you gotta do the same thing for each of those pancakes every time you put batter into this pan. Right? And I don't know that I'm even using a non-stick pan. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is fucking... This isn't fucking Congress. This isn't the Senate. Jesus. Does it fucking matter? What fucking kids? I want to. Can you see that? Fucking perfect. Look, look, look. I, I'm, I'm going to show you one more time. One more. One more time. One more time. Yeah, look at that. Fucking golden. Brown up in this bitch. Golden brown up in this bitch, yeah. Yeah. Ha! But you get the general idea, right? You get the general idea. Seriously. Now, I'm not Mr. Food. I don't even want to be Mr. Food because I don't want to know what goes through his fucked up mind. Assuming that he's a pervert, but he's not, obviously. Or at least he hasn't been discovered as one yet. But you know how all these celebrities end up coming under fire from from all these fucking accusations of 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 assault or misconduct or whatever. You know all that shit, right? You know Morgan Freeman. You know Harvey Weinstein. Fucking Tom Cruise. What a Scientologist he is, right? Oh, he's our hero! Let's give it up for Tom Cruise! Yay! Bullshit. Fuck Tom Cruise. The only thing he was ever good for is brainwashing people. His so-called remake of The Mummy is living, breathing proof of that. And you don't need a doctor to tell you that. You don't even need a psychologist to tell you that. All you need is a good mind about you to fucking know. And if you don't allow yourself to know, then you're just as much a part of the problem as anyone else. Right? I mean, God, man. It's not... It's not... College. It's not rocket science. It's... 
It's it's simple fucking shit. It's simple. It's all simple. It's all simple, man. Seriously. This does it does it really need to be anything more than simple? It's honestly seriously, it's, it's, I'm telling you. Seriously. I mean, you might as well have the double dribble national anthem playing over this shit. Because it's so fucking basic. So run of the mill, right? So rinky dink and all that shit. Right? I'm gonna try to get this fucking battery here as much as the fucking can. That's all I'm good at. Uh, by the way, one of my friends who I won't name was a reason was recently arrested for something. One of my friends I know personally in life sent me a Facebook message on Messenger regarding her arrest. But still, um, this person apparently has two sons that have what I have because of course she does because we live in the star seat generation and very rightly so so either way it all comes together like fucking peaches and cream right you don't need a sign just to tell your dad huh ah. you do seriously understand right get it get it get it seriously get it I mean, I don't even, I can't even tell you, legitimately, flip that, dude, that's right, take, oh yeah, that's fucking right, that's fucking right, yeah man, fuck yeah, holy shit, seriously, look, look, look at this man, oh my god, ah! I just made a cake dinner! Holy shit! And all I had to do was follow the directions on the back of the container. Ah, look at that, man. Look at that. Look at that shit. Look at that. Golden brown. Look at that. Look at that. Golden brown. Golden brown. Golden brown. Golden brown. Golden brown. Golden brown. Ah, oh, yeah, man. Golden brown. Golden brown mother. Yeah. Up in this mother. Huh? You got that right. Yeah. By the way, if, if you're ever going to get a place of your own or be self-sufficient, you got to learn how to do shit like this. Seriously. This is really not hard to do. It's not, it's not even that difficult, honestly. It's not even that difficult? I mean... <laughs> oh, by the way, you, you gotta... You gotta rinse this. You gotta rinse this. Yeah. You gotta rinse that. Yeah. Uh, rinse that. Shy. I mean, you, you gotta know this shit, man. You gotta know this shit. Because you can't possibly survive on your own. You, you have no fucking chance in hell of surviving on your own if you don't know how to do stuff like this. It's not hard. Seriously. A fucking dog can do it. A literal fucking dog. An animal. Legitimate. And, I, and I'm not just, I'm not just trying, you know? It's actually quite simple. One third of a cup of water. One third of a cup of milk into a container of pancake mix shake the living bejesus out of it 
for about a minute, of course, two separate times for 30 seconds a piece. Then, all you got to do is pour it into the pan a little bit at a time every five or so minutes. Pretty simple. But you already knew that. Said that. And did it. But that don't mean shit if you ain't got the balls. That's a fact. Get in my belly. We'll just pretend like that never happened. I'm sorry I had to make you go through that. But really though, my chest and stomach say it all. I look like shit. That's why nobody wants to date me. Ah, I'm just kidding the hell with it. And I don't mean the apology either. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Always remember to live the God life. And listen to him first and foremost before you listen to anybody else. Because if you're not listening to him first, you're not living right. Seriously. Listen to him. And that's all I got. So until next time, I'll see you on social media and cyberspace. Goodbye. <laughs>
And then of course you just put this shit in here, like so. Right? Easy peasy. Fucking simple. You know? It's, it's actually easy and it's not hard to understand or fathom. Because once you know how to do this, you'll understand it. I mean, good God, man. And then, of course, you just put this damn thing in here, like so. Let me move this shit. Let me just move that a bit. Let me move that a bit. Okay. Let me turn that thing up. Hey! I mean, you understand, right? You get it. You know. You understand. Then, of course, you just put some water in here. Like so. Like fucking so. And I'm talking about the coffee pot. I don't need the filter, because that would just be retarded. Completely and utterly selectively retarded. But you already knew that, motherfucker. Also notice how I made a mess here, so I'm gonna have to clean that shit up. Alright. I have to learn how to clean that up. Ha <laughs> ha! Then of course you just fill it until it gets to 12. Plain as fucking day. You know, plain as day. You see that? You see that? That is roughly six cups right there. Worth a call. And just very carefully navigate this over here, pour it in there, like so, like the fucking boss that God made you out to be, and I uh, just made another mess, and that up, like so, of course anytime you pour coffee into a filter and you make a mess, you gotta clean it up, because it's just common practice, it's common person, it's just common sense, it's all common sense. Straight out of the donkey's dick. You know? It's just common sense, man. It's not fucking college. It's not graduate school. It's logic. It's logic! Ah! Also, it's very important that you need this, because you can't make coffee without this. I heard Jim Ross used one of those to smash it over the head of somebody at a WWE pay-per-view in the early 2000s. That was some time ago, I don't know. Or was it the mid-1990s or late 90s or what? I forgot. But still. What you know won't kill you. The more you know, the less likely you are to die. Right? <laughs> and then of course you just do this. You brew this motherfucker. It's it's first grade. It's pre-K. I can't go learn how to do this. Ah! You know? Fucking hell. I mean, it's not hard. Anyone can do it. And then, of course, you got to wait some, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes for the damn thing to fully brew. And you just put this in there for measure. So, just the hell of it. Right? <laughs> By the way, you still gotta wait another 20 to 30 minutes for the damn thing to brew. And then, next thing you know, you're gonna have yourself some damn good coffee. Pretty simple, right? <laughs> Wrong! Ooh, yeah! Let's step into the danger zone! <laughs> no, mama, I'm dancing! I'm dancing! <laughs> My ship sails in the morning.
If you don't hear from me in a month, send Link. Yeah, but what the fuck does that have to do with anything? I don't care what he said. Just send Link if you don't hear from me in a month. All right, whatever. You do what you want. How about I let that guy come over and wax your little ass, motherfucker? <laughs> Oh, there's yourself some French roast up in this motherfucker. Aha! Hey, we want some golf, hey! Well, guess what? Wish fucking granted, motherfucker. Cause that's what you're gonna get, by God. That's what you're gonna get. Absolutely! Ah, yeah! That's what we're talking about up in this motherfucker. Then, of course, you're just gonna pull this shit in here, yeah? You're gonna pour it. 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 And bing, bang, boom, there's yourself a good cup. We gotta repeat this process about four more times. We're gonna pour it. We're gonna pour it. We're gonna pour it, and there's a nice big ass cup of coffee. Eat. It's coffee o'clock, motherfucker, wake up! It's coffee o'clock! Up in this bitch. But it's totally not gonna mean much at this point, is it? Because you already know. Now don't you? Yeah, man. It's all a matter of time! Time is money! Money is time! Time is time you can't get back! Oh, the humanity! Oh, shit! Now we got something really rad up in this bitch, don't we? Ah. They can fill up my ass. Uh, and that is how you make coffee. Ah. <laughs> you want to learn how to feed fish? Let's find out how, shall we? Yeah! Let's find out how to feed the fish! Yeah! We're gonna feed the fish! We're gonna feed the fish if it is motherfucker! Yeah! Yeah! No. Yeah! Let's feed the fish! Let's feed the fish! Alright, here's what you're gonna have to do. Every morning or early afternoon around this time, you're gonna have to give them a little bit of this. No? Just a bit of this. That's all they need. That's all they need. Just a little bit of this. Just a bit of this. That way everybody gets to have their share. So, pretty simple. It's hard. It's not difficult. I like to think that it's not difficult anyway. But, I don't know about you, but it's for me, I don't even care. <laughs> I mean, shit, man. <laughs> what the hell did you expect from something like this? Yeah, man. You'll figure it out sooner or later. Yeah. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Yeah. Now for the beta fish, for the beta fish, they're gonna need a different kind of food. A very special kind of food. And that's where the magic happens. You see what I mean? No, seriously, take a good look at this shit. 
take a good look. Because you're not going to regret this. Believe me. You'll never regret it. You learn from me, you succeed in life. So, you listen to God, you succeed in life. You follow through on what God says, and you will succeed in life. And I don't even care, I just want to tell you the truth about everything. So, either one of these. Anybody? Want some fish? Want a little bit of fish? A little bit of fish? Okay. Oh, there it is. He's alive and well. Just the way I like it. There you go. And, oh, there you go. Yeah, right there on a fucking plate. I should also remind you that you should feed these fish twice every 24 hours. Once around morning to early afternoon time, the other before you go to bed, and of course you have to turn out the lights before you go to bed, obviously, so that they'll get a chance to sleep, because they don't like to have their lights on when they're sleeping. Well, I mean, it's just a fucking given, isn't it? That's a given! Take good care of your teeth. Well, there's actually two very simple ways to do it. I won't go into detail. But let's just assume that I do, supposedly to give a shit. I mean, yeah, I don't even care. I'm just calling it as I see it. Calling it as it is. Because it needs to be told in that light. And not that it matters or anything, but you don't care and I don't care, so fuck it. Time to get dark up in here. Okay. First things first. With this little thing here, then of course, put a little bit of this in there. By the way, for those of you who are old school and do it the old school way, this is an electric toothbrush. This toothbrush operates 5,000 or better yet, hell, 8,000 strokes a minute. You might as well say that. 8,000 strokes a fucking minute. You need a little bit of this on there too? Just, just for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. Right? 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 Yeah. Just for the fucking hell of it. And then of course, you need to roll up your sleeves. You're wearing long sleeves, because you never know if the shit's gonna hit the fan. And my friend, this is where everything gets surreal. Uh, this motherfucker. Uh, I mean, you don't really want to care anyway, so. Uh, I don't even know if it matters at this point. But I couldn't care more or less about it than anyone else, so. Yeah. So. This is what you need. Oh, hey, there's two ways a day. Bye, guys. I hope you see. Oh, I don't have to clean. And I mean, you're drinking a lot of coffee. You gotta work the shit out of your teeth. And you go off on your trunk. Just so you don't end up with gum disease in my system. Right?
。あ、ね、ーはー、どうしよあれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれでね、あれあれはこれじゃなくて。うんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうん
by the way, in case you didn't notice, the background sound was silent throughout that three minute clip of me brushing my teeth. But basically what I was trying to say is, make sure you get your gums and your tongue as well. Because you want to make sure your whole damn mouth is clean, right? Then of course you got to rinse afterwards, you got to rinse your mouth, got to dry your hands because you don't want to look like a jackass. But you get the general idea, right? Brushing your teeth is simple. It requires a whole hell of a lot more than just two minutes a day, two times a day. I mean, it's a hell of a lot more than that. You gotta get your teeth, your gums, your tongue, everything in your mouth. That way you know for sure that you've got a clean mouth, right? Common sense. Oh, by the way, I have a ton of shit on social media, so go check that out if you want. And aside from that, I have one thing to say to you, and that is... I'm